So we're here at the TCL press conference here at IFA. Who are you? Good afternoon. I'm uh, Oliver. I'm a European uh, product manager, so head of product management for Europe for TCL TVs. Welcome at IFA. And TCL is saying that you are planning to be number three in Europe. Yes. And, uh, Number three also worldwide? We are, in fact, we are already number three worldwide. This is why our ambition is to reach the same market share here in Europe, yes. So you're the fastest growing TV company in the world? We are the fastest for sure in China and US. We wish we would be the fastest in Europe, but this is more an ambition. So yes, in the world, we are the fastest TV brand the fast-growing TV brand in Europe, our ambition is also to reach number three by 2020, so in two years from now. And TCL also has some other brands, uh, Alcatel, that's for the smartphone, right? Yes, in TV, we also have Thomson. Thomson is in France or is there other places? Thomson is everywhere in Europe, everywhere. We play Thomson in every market and the brand is very complementary with TCL. Thompson is more for mainstream family people and TCL TVs will be more for young, innovative, creative people. This is how both brands complement each other. And uh, is this how you're going to take over Europe with this product? This is a new product you're launching here, right? What right. Is this is the first uh, XS X2 TCL QLED TV. Very nice design, very small bezel. Uh, the bezel is in fact bezel-less. In fact, on the front of the TV, you don't see any bezel anymore. This is what we call bezel-less or frameless. The thickness is less than one centimeter, so as thick as an iPhone or a phone. This here we are showing, showcasing the 65 inch. We also have a 55 inch, and this is the so-called XS X2 TCL QLED TV. So QLED does that have to do with quantum dots? Sure. So quantum dot is one of the main pillars on the TCL QLED concept. So quantum dot, maybe as you could see during the press conference, these are nano crystals produced by our own factory because the big strength of TCL is we make the displays by ourselves. We have our own factories. Very we big have factory our own in, in China, very right? big is it factory. near Shenzhen? It's close to Shenzhen, yes, yeah. right. One of the biggest TV It's one of the biggest the TV factory in the world. Uh, most latest most generation. And now we are even investing in the next generation. In two years from now, we will have the biggest. Uh, Is it called Fab 8, Fab 10, Fab Gen 9? 11. Gen 11. It's called Gen 11. Fab 11, yes. So in that two means years from now. 11 feet, no, or something. No, that, that means, means uh, Gen 11 means um, you, this kind of factory can produce displays more than 100 inch. But of, of course, uh, the more you cut, uh, displays in a hundred inch, so the mother glass, what we, the so-called mother glass, will be huge, and you can you can cut more displays, more panels in each mother glass, so that makes your 32 inch or 40 inch more cost effective, but also it allows you to have bigger screens, maybe 100 inch and maybe even above. We cannot reveal this kind of plan because that Fab 11 will be launched in one year from now. So this one, the XS uh, uh, with QLED is HDR? Yes, of course. So the second pillar in our QLED story, uh, maybe I show you here also, um, our TCL QLED story is supported by two main uh, technologies. The first one is so-called Beyond Color, supported by Quantum Dot, right? And the second one is the so-called HDR Pro. HDR Pro is another technology to reproduce colors, details, even on the black scenes, even on the white scenes, we don't lose any details. So not only colors, but contrast is important in our TCL QLED. And TVs. you work with Dolby on that? Or you do HDR10? In Europe, we mostly HLC? do HDR10 at the moment. We, we discuss on HDR+, Plus, which is also a next standard, but we, we have plans we cannot reveal at the moment. And Dolby Vision is something we use more in the USA and other markets, because it's more relevant over there. In Europe, HDR10 is more relevant. So in the USA, it's sold as a TCL brand? Also, many stores have a section with TCL. Yes, you go to the store, there's you will maybe LG, Samsung, and they will be TCL. Of course, the TCL brand is present everywhere in the world. 
Uh, in US, the story is a little bit different. Uh, you will find TCL in Walmart, you will find TCL in Costco, and we have a partnership with Roku. So in USA, we sell TCL Roku TVs. In Europe, we have TCL Android TVs. So we can also talk about Android for Europe, if you like. So you have Android 6 right now, but Android 7 is just about to come, right? Yes. I, or in fact, these models are already prepared for Android 7.0. So the UI in a bit? Yes. So right now you, we can see the, so now the UI Chromecast. Uh, this is Chromecast built-in, of course. Yeah. Sorry, maybe I was too fast. Yeah. And then uh, here I'm showing the Android, the so-called 6.0 UI. What you should know is that this UI is much faster and much more smooth than the 5.0. In fact, TCL didn't want to use Android 5.0. It was too slow and not very well prepared for TV. We started with 6.0 and we already prepared 7.0 for an upgrade starting, let's say, end of the, before end of the year, all our TVs will be upgraded to 7.0. What's the main advantage of the 7.0 in the Android TV world? Is it smoother, better a bit? Of course, smoother, better. There will be more multi-cases supported. For example, you will have what we call the PIP feature. So I cannot show it to you here because this is the 6.0, right? But on a 7.0, it will come with PIP, picture in picture. Uh, 7.0, you can also customize your user interface. You can choose the colors. Um, it's also equipped for multi-profiles. So you can enter your Google account, or your wife could enter her Google account, and you will have recommendations according to your profiles. So this, this is a small part of the 7.0 improvement. Of course, the voice search on 7.0 will be very much improved. It so works. you talk to your TV? You talk to your TV, more. so you could say, for example, what is the weather in Berlin? So nice. you could do simple operations like this. You could also say two times two equals. So you can do some basic operations. Uh, you can also say, for example, open Netflix. So you see, already on the 6.0 is not only voice search, but it's also voice command that you could do. And you have a Netflix button because that's quite it's a, popular. So yeah, Netflix. it's a dedicated Netflix button to access directly to, to this Netflix application. In the UK, I, I, I like uh, Amazon Prime. You yeah, we have this. Uh, we have it in the App Store, uh, in the, of course, also in the Android App Store. But uh, at the moment, we mainly work with Netflix 4K HDR, YouTube 4K HDR, and the Prime app of Amazon is in the plan. In the planning. In the planning. So it will come, depending on the countries, yeah, Germany or UK, what it will come before the end of the year. Amazon Prime application. And so to get the nice 4K signal, you, you connect uh, you, somewhere here. You have a system to find the cables, but you connect an Ethernet, so you have very fast connection directly to the. No, it, do everything on Wi-Fi. This is just Wi-Fi. This is one of the benefit of Android. Yeah. Android, like on your tablet, on your phone, you don't need a big bandwidth. Even in 4G or 3G, my Android TV works really good. I just connect it to my phone and I share my connection from my phone to the TV. So this is the nice benefit. This is why Android is so fast. It doesn't need a lot of memory in the background to work. But you so would the like to have a nice 4K high bitrate streaming, right? And HDR might, it might need of course, gigabit Of course, more. at home. So Android don't need a big bandwidth to operate. Now, if you start to play a Netflix 4K movie, of course you need a big bandwidth when you are Wi-Fi. So, yes. So it has nice uh, speakers? Yes, so the nice benefit on X2 is we have this JBL soundbar here. So we work really closely in a partnership with a famous brand called JBL, quite famous in Europe. We send this product to JBL to get the JBL certification. So we pass a very detailed checklist of specs, and then JBL will certify us. To be J JBL certified, one of the requirements is to expose the sound, meaning sound should come from the front. Because if I talk to you like this, you don't hear me very well, right? But now you hear me better. So this is why the front firing sound matters. The other benefit is here we have aluminium. So inside, the components are made of real aluminium to avoid the vibrations. Another requirement is to have more, a, bit, a little bit more space on the bottom part of the TV 
because when you want a big sound, you need some space, more space. So all in all, this is the best sound ever on a TV, on an X2. Best sound ever on a TV. Yes, when you have that TV, you don't need to buy a, 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 a sound bar anymore. So this is 65 inch? We, it will come also in 55 inch. We got also a design award for this one. Red dots. Red dots. And also on the next one, on the C70, we got the ISA award for the best buy TV in Europe. So we have one model just below this X2, the so-called CityLine C70. It was also for the first time in TCL awarded by the ISA jury in Europe. So it's a really good achievement and recognition. So now it's the, the interesting question is the price. Yeah. Is it a good price? What we do in TCL, we make the technology affordable. Meaning, of course, how to say, the retail prices are for... I cannot comment on the retail prices you can because, this one, yeah? because uh, every retailer should fix their prices, right? This one is more than 1,000, I guess. This 65 inch will be slightly more than 1,000, but yeah. still 20, 25 percent below the A or B brand, or B, below A brands, you would and say. And when you say QLED, are you comparing yourself with an OLED? Yes. So you, you would say your QLED is twice is cheaper. Com competitor to the OLED. In terms of technology, LG. picture quality, and sound is really on par or even better, I would say. But the price, the Three retail price, less. would be four times less. Twice, no, yeah. I cannot comment on that, but for sure, will be twice cheaper. And, and yes. This one, uh, this is uh, the ISA award winning, is yes. it 55 inch? 70, ISA award winner. 55 inch? 55 inch, but we also have it in 65, we also have it in 49 inch, also in 43 inch. Uh, this is a very nice value for money TV, again with the JBL soundbar. So compared to the X2, what you see is a JBL soundbar, much more stylish. Much it's more all, you don't know where it is. Actually. Yeah, you, the we, whole thing. We, hide, we hide the speakers because X2 is very much into performance, masculine design, performance. C70 is much more for your home interior. Uh, so this is why we put the mesh here. So is this more affordable than the XS? Yes, it's this coming. Is like it's, it's medium. Yeah, this is what we call the step-up range. In uh, in our UHD range, you will notice we have three levels of range. We have the P popular series, more mainstream, affordable. We have the C series, so that's the C series. This is what we call the step-up, and then we have the XS series, more the flagship. So this, this one is the step-up. Also QLED HDR. This one is wide color gamut, no QLED but HDR10, white color gamut, and um, all the nice Android features that we discussed also on the X. So, plus the soundbar, JBL soundbar, in a very slim design. What I want to say on the design, we always use real materials on the front. So we are not talking about any plastics here. This is real aluminum or real, real steel. It really makes a difference because you can achieve smaller dimensions in a more robust and stylish TV when you use real aluminiums. That's why we do that. So here we can hope below 500? What can we hope for? Uh, of course, if you talk about a 43 inch, we will be way below 500 euros. A 49 inch would be around 500 euros. 55? 55 inch will be around 8 to 900 euros. I even hear 799 in some countries because that one was introduced and you can already find it at 799, so around 800 euros. Does a, does but again, a, every retailer will choose their own price. Yeah, it's not TCL to... But TCL to also price. has a lower, lower entry? So below these models, or below the C70, what you could see on the booth, uh, so in, an, in the whole 21, is the P series. The P series is also UHD series, more entry UHD series. Also HDR. Also HDR, also Android. Android TV, Android. and then maybe you get 65 inch for less than 1,000, right? Yes, that's the target. All right. Yes, so, so that, that range, the P60, you could always come, it, come and see it on the booth. It's even still brushed aluminum. Of course, we, on the P60, we don't have the JBL sound. That would be, uh, uh, how to say, uh, a bit too expensive. So we want to cost down a, a little and achieve more aggressive price. So consumers should just buy TCL, they shouldn't consider 
Samsung, LG, right? It's just consumers it's do whatever they like. Yeah. Of course, they can uh, always consider gonna, the brands. We're just going to continue growing and selling more of these, and uh, of course, this is our more and more happy. of course this is our plan. This is our ambition to become number three in Europe by 2020. So when we want to achieve that, of course, you need to, to take market shares, right? But not only in UHD, in all segments. Also in Full HD, we are launching very good products, affordable smart TV in Full HD, 40 inch, 43, 49, 32 inch. We are also very strong on these segments because this is also where we can grab market shares. But in UHD, we want to position ourselves as the next future brand for UHD. Yes. These you, you should you partner with the supermarket. They just get thousands of them in stock, and then you, people just buy them and. Take them home in the car. Of course, we have two kinds of strategies. Eh? We have TCL and Thompson, but this is the core range. But every Black Friday event, we will partner with exclusive retailers to make some Black Friday promotions. Big bulk. In Germany, it could be Amazon. In some other countries, it could be Media Markt. Yes, we have this kind of agreement with, with retailers. It should be every Friday. Uh, we have also the Red Fridays, some every, okay. every Friday at the end of the month. Yes. Okay. But but the TV market is not so, how to say, aggressive anymore in Europe. So um, the, the, the TV market is still growing in some countries. It, was, uh, it becomes more stable. Of course, you will see aggressive offers in the coming months. Everybody needs to get a 4K HDR. I can only advise you if you don't have a 4K. 65 inch minimum. And also, a 60, uh, also an Android TV. Android TV is really good. It's the really best experience by far. <laughs> I All the Samsung, whatever LG and Samsung are doing, it's like cannot, a mistake. I will not comment on the competition. Okay. I can only say Android is a really good system because everyone has an Android phone, maybe everyone has an Android tablet at home. It's very popular here in Europe and this is the best UI experience. You can connect so many devices to your TV. Uh, you, can, you, can remote, uh, you can have remote control applications, you can have games for free on Android TV. Uh, you have so many stuff on the Apple Store. You can rent movies, music, hundreds of millions of contents. So this is the. We think Android TV is the future for for connected TVs. Yes.